So here is uh, Mike and Scott. Yo. We are heading to Port Renfrew, British Columbia to take the West Coast Trail. Right now we're driving up in the mountains, just kind of southeast of Seattle. Trying to make our way there before the ferry closes this evening. It's a pretty drive up here. It's not been terribly pretty thus far until this point, but now it's awesome. So, we'll check in. Sometime in the lackluster ski season of 2011 and 12, I wandered into my local library in Utah and started thumbing through hiking books, already dreaming of summer adventures. One of the books had a beautiful picture of a misty, uninhabited coastline that instantly beckoned me, probably much the same effect the scenery had on natives and sailors for many hundreds of years before. I had a strong desire to be there, to experience it, breathe it in, somehow bond with the place. The picture was taken on a hike of the West Coast Trail, a 47-mile slog through mud and beach along the southwest coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Here we go. Going on ferry to Vancouver Island. woo -wee. We watched like pretty much 400 cars come off this thing. And we are wondering, how? <laughs> wow. Oh, in the middle lane, huh? Sweet. All the way up. That's because we are got major firsties, bro. Yeah, sweet. Tell us what is happening. We're on the BC ferry heading to Victor Victoria. Oh, what? Wait, we're on a ferry? Oh, snap. Yes, we are. <laughs> we're pretty excited. We're on a ferry, a boat for you layman people. And, uh, layman? Did I say layman? Layman. Don't, don't put this in the video. Okay, this is, we're gonna have this. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, excited. Let's go time. Sweet. And a little bit. Bubble be tuna. No. It's very warm out here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we are out. In, uh, we're on Vancouver Island. Which we were led to believe was just a totally uninhabited place. But as it turns out, it's quite inhabited. You know, around the city of Victoria. But we're just driving out drive all the way to the other side of the island and apparently it's a really long way away but this place is pretty cool I mean it kind of has a feel of like Catalina Island just sort of isolated and yet you know a lot of people living here and you don't know exactly what they're doing out here but they're living you know they're going to school they're look, there's dogs here walking dogs <laughs> they do what they do <laughs> you know how they do the drive across the island was much longer and slower than we thought it would be, and we arrived late at night in Port Renfrew at the southern end of the trail. Without a solid plan for where we were going to sleep, we went back and forth between two motels in town trying to find someone who could check us in. Things were looking grim, and at one point we even stole a key from the partially open door of an empty room at one of the motels, thinking if worse came to worse we could crash there and sort it out in the morning. Luckily, I ran into a German girl at one of the motels that told me, in very broken English, that the owner was out back enjoying a bit of the good herb. We were very mellowly checked in and awoke to find the place incredibly beautiful. Let's do this! Yeah! <laughs> yes. Got my pack, here you can see. Still neatly packed. Oh, yes. Everything is tight. We're all leaning a little forward. <laughs> By the end of like five days, we'll be, we'll be like this, <laughs> almost 90 degree, almost out of bend at a 90 degree angle. Feeling a touch uh, heavy at the moment. Yeah. I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to have to play around with weight distribution, see what works best for me. But it's all right. There's no mountain climbing involved here. It's all just going to be... Uh, just about 100 ladders. <laughs> well, that part could be grueling, but mostly a walk on the beach. So how heavy would you say your pack is? Uh, 
say it's not horrible, probably between maybe about 40, 45 pounds. Let me not get bad the, at all. Let me get the hole as he walks off into the sunset. So wish us luck. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, we don't really know what this is going to be like. <laughs> Time uh, will tell. Many have gone before, and many of them have been college girls, so... <laughs> And we are no college girls, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, this is where we're gonna catch the bus. The bus isn't sounding so good. I'm not so sure we're gonna be hiking today. So what we're doing here is we're taking the shuttle bus up to the north end of the trail. Taking the shuttle bus to the north end of the trail would allow us to start the trail from the north and work our way south back to Port Renfrew and our awaiting parked car. The ride is a very bumpy four hours that gave us our first glimpse of the dense vegetation on the west coast. The bumpy ride didn't seem to bother Mike, who as it turns out, is a very sleepy individual. Here we are arriving at Pachina Bay. Just going in to do our orientation. A little outhouse for you. Right. We got the shuttle, and it's like damp. It's there's like tons of moss growing on like every branch of trees here. It's just crazy. Yeah. Beautiful. It is crazy. So the ride over here was quite long, and uh, most of it, well, a good part of it was on logging roads, which was quite an adventure. Very bumpy, passing a lot of trucks full of logs and such. All right, these are our good buddies from Belgium, all the way across the world. Our new friend from Oregon. And Two guys Oregon from Utah. Partner. Don't know what we're doing here. I'm gonna do it anyway. What are we doing? I don't know what time it is, but we have 24 hours to make it to the end of the trail. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. It begins there. Orientation was there. We came from there. <laughs> and we go to the unknown. Should be fun. First part of the trail is you're kind of walking out. And this is how it begins. Walk out onto the beach. And there's a dog. Oh, and other people. Okay. I guess the family comes to the beach here. So that's where we begin. We were into the hike like a minute, and we saw our first bald eagle floating over our heads. Oh, yeah. So here's what we got. Awesome. Still just starting out, and uh, Michael almost fell already. <laughs> Had a good slip. He's got the gators though, they're protecting him. You know how we do. He stepped pretty deep and didn't get wet, so I'm proud of his shoes. Proud of his gators. Here's a picture of me, and there are people walking behind, but I'm gonna get more philosophical about this hike later. Right now we're just trying to figure out what we're doing. So after a short walk on the beach, actually a really long walk on the beach. <laughs> because we totally overshot by like a good at least kilometer and ran into the beach hitting into a cliff and said this can't be right. Well they have the, the cutoff point as like just a stick stuck in the sand. Yeah, so the markings are not awesome. We're gonna pay more attention to our map. Oh, this right here. But this is basically where awesome. we head off into the jungle for quite a while until we emerge on the beach to camp tonight. Amazingly green. Oh yeah. Just total jungle hike. Perfect. All right. So what we're looking at there is actually the bottom it's of a, a tree root kind of system. Tree. Huge. Right, let's get that back. Man. I want to see that thing come over, tip over. Kind of awesome. Just standing on our log here. That's. It's just neat. Covering the good. covering the trail. It's like a. It's like a. Oh, this is another root. All splintered. That Holy tree mackerel. Yeah. That's a giant. <laughs> Probably can't even tell what that is. It's just a wall of hugeness. Like the, uh, wow, that's awesome. Getting a little sweaty, but rocking it, you know? Rocking it. How we do. It's huge. 
just starting to run into some real old growth trees. I mean, these things are, I don't know, it's probably a good oh. 8 to 10 feet across. It's massive, and we're kind of surrounded by them for the first time, but... I think it's huge. It's pretty hard to describe how, uh, how pretty this is. I mean, it's just unbelievably wild and green, wet, just full of life. It's amazing. And each of the little branches has a bunch of moss hanging off of it. Just furry branches everywhere. <laughs> really a neat effect. Shall we continue? We shall. Here's yeah, Scott, going through the fish jungle. We don't know what's on the other side, but we think it's more trail. Time will tell. <laughs> That's ladder one of like 70 plus ladders. So I saw this little cove of happiness back here. Oh, nice. It's just like, I don't know what to say, except it's like a little Holy paradise. God. So we're really hitting like our first, uh, I just climbed a little tiny ladder, but now we're starting to kind of hit these bigger ladders here. There's our organ friend and Michael's at the top there. While we're waiting for Michael, I can show you the trees, almost every tree has these big fungusy mushroom things sticking out on them. I don't know what those are. I had somebody bail on me that, you know, that just didn't like heights and, and you know, he saw videos of the ladders and stuff. So he just said, I don't think so. I don't want to do this hike. <laughs> Our new Oregon friend, Gary, had his hiking partner bail on him on somewhat short notice. Instead of sitting it out, Gary decided to have a go at the trail solo. It wasn't long into the hike that Gary, and all of us really, realized that this was not a hike you'd want to do alone. There are just too many things that can go wrong in this trail. So Gary asked if he could tag along with us. It ended up being great, as Gary could play straight man in the Scott and Mike comedy show. Gary was a strong hiker carrying a pack brimming with gear for every possible scenario. It is a good trip. We've seen many things. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm, re I'm ready to go home. <laughs> How long have we been out, dude? We're quitting at the lake. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. We've seen pretty much all there is to see. Yeah. Getting a little sick of trees, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So it's day one today. <laughs> <laughs> and we love it. This is awesome. Eating some Sarah made grub, drop, whatever she called that let stuff. Me, let me give a schnop. A shout out to Sarah. Sarah, you're awesome. This stuff, everything you've done, the packaging, the, the, the little things you do. The instructions so we wouldn't be confused as to which meal to eat. <laughs> I know. Thank you. <laughs> you really like, I told Scott, I'm like, I'm going to hire you and Sarah to like, whenever I go on family vacations, like plan everything for me. Because I hate planning. I just like to go. So thank you. You're great. <laughs> So what kind of well is that? They tell us in the orientation. Yeah, it's a monk. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Awesome. So cool. Dude, he totally just performed. He did. A little, a little friend we found. Slug friend. That's big. Here's my thumb, just so you can compare. Here's my foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in front of us is the current is a good example of just the horrid muddiness how it's done. that we crossed through here. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, there he goes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Still dry. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, actually. 
I'm push up right now. <laughs> I was just telling Scott <laughs> every part of my body that ached, and he turned that on. So that's why we're laughing. It's great though. This is awesome. This is beautiful. About two miles down, or two kilometers down there, probably where that smoke's at. That looks like smoke. Might be just be uh, fog or haze or something. The campfire? Yeah, I can't tell because there's. That's gotta be smoke. Yeah. This is where we're camping for the night. So, this is what we're gonna see when we walk out of our tent. Sweet. This is awesome. Night one. Campfire. Ocean. Can't quite make that out. Clothesline rope that if you don't look out for it, <laughs> you get hit by it. And most importantly, this right here. This right here is, I'm guessing, Sarah's little mechanism. S'mores. S'mores. What have we got here? We got, looks like Teddy Grahams that are broken up. We got chocolate chips. We got marshmallows. And we got TLC. Okay, that's the most important right there. I'm, I'm gonna yes now. Yeah. Day one, I think we learned ourselves a little lesson. <laughs> a it, was, of them. it was a lot of mud and uh, pretty grueling, actually. I mean, <laughs> it's tough. It's gonna be a long hike. We can already tell it's gonna be a little rough. Very sore backs. Uh, kind of headachey feeling, exhausted legs, Joints. joints, hips, knees. All the above. Hurting, but uh, happy. I mean, the place is incredibly beautiful. It's pretty much everything we expected and more. You just look down the coast and you can't believe that you are in a place that, that is that amazing. So, so far it's been worth it, but it's gonna be a long haul. Oh, we learned uh, not to ignore abnormal things. Yes, don't ignore things that don't happen naturally in nature. <laughs> so, yeah. if there's things hanging in trees and stuff like that, or sticks in the sand, sticks in the sand, sticking straight up for no reason. No. While it might be abnormally awesome, it's not. It's usually <laughs> humans put it there to say, follow and Look learn here. from our mistakes. Yeah. So. We're looking forward to day two. Got our food all locked up in the bear locker. And uh, we actually had a really good dinner. I mean, surprisingly, it was very satisfying. Mashed potatoes and chicken. Really couldn't ask for anything better camping, so. Uh -huh. We'll see you tomorrow morning, day two. Oh, yeah. Okay, day two on the West Coast Trail. Got our camp all packed up. Rained pretty good last night. Stayed dry in the tent. So, uh, you know, good things happening. It's a beautiful day. Got a hike. What was it? 8.7 8. miles today. And that's our journey back in that area. Yeah, kind of <laughs> going to be more of the same tree wise, but uh, it's very enjoyable. We'll end up at the waterfall today. Should be pretty. Maybe as we arrive, the sun will pop out. Maybe not. That's it. That's all. It's a little foggy yeah. on the camera. This is awesome. That uh, Orange Juice Creek. It's a lot of cool water features, really, across a lot of streams. On the bridge here. Looking down, it's pretty. So day two so far is uh, just slogging through the forest. We could have taken the beach route, but that was pretty hard walking on the beach. So, so far been climbing a bit uphill into the forest again. Kind of more of the same, lots of trees, only this day is much wetter. It's a fine mist kind of constantly coming down, so everything's pretty wet. It's fun though, I mean it's very mystical and jungly. It makes you feel like you're somewhere very, very far away, which we kind of are. But uh, having cell phone service made it feel not so far away. Kind of awesome. All right, this first is, real this, this tall is ladder. I'm not gonna lie. Go okay. for it. Come on. Ah. 
There he goes. I won't be able to get him because he's going to take all day. Holy crap. I'm running out of battery. Holy crap. So we're on a suspension bridge right now, kind of hovering out above, pretty far down, and then out to the ocean. There's Gary. Looks a little nervous. All right. So here we are. We actually <laughs> missed insane. missed the ride, ride coming down on this cable car out in the middle of this big old freaking river. Holy smokes. This is crazy. It's uh it's a long way down. Let's get in the back where we came from. Yeah, let's see it get up there. Can't really see it. There you go. Here's where we're coming. I'm letting Mike do all the work. <laughs> you He's doing a nice job there. Alright, I better help him out. We're here at one of the ladders, waiting for our good buddy Gary. Okay, Gary coming up there. It's the big, biggest ladder yet on day two. Yeah. Just came That's across sweet. that cable car not long ago. A bunch of sketchy little wood bridges. And now here comes Gary. The Belgians are not far behind. <laughs> the Belgians are closing in. <laughs> Slogging through the mud. Day two, the slog fest. I have conquered. <laughs> Came down from way up there on like uh, four or five ladders and uh, down into camp here on the beach. And here we are. Very wet today. Yes. A big uh, mud fest, but it's been pretty. It's like mist though. It's like not really distinct droplets. It's just mist. Yeah. It's like light mist or heavy mist. But it's like, gets you drenched. Yep. It's weird. We're having fun. It's good. <laughs> it couldn't rain like this every day. Otherwise, it'd be pretty rough. So I think we get soaked. I'm, even despite any waterproof, whatever we got, I'm feeling pretty wet at this moment. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to dry off if we can. Welcome to, uh, I don't know what this place is called. Sousiet Falls. Sousiet Falls. Big giant waterfall. It's gonna be a camp for day two. We're pretty wet. I don't really know how we're gonna solve that. But uh, having fun. Really pretty. So far, not cold. But uh, spectacular scenery. Yeah. I may go swimming. Oh, yeah. Me too. If we can get some sun to come out, I'm gonna jump in. Even if it stays like this, I might jump in. <laughs> Something like that. It's crazy. Scott out. Welcome to camp on day two. Camping by the falls. And actually we are, we found a little cave. We're gonna go ahead and set up in here. I'll get an outside shot. Okay, so despite uh, the rain and such, we got a nice little fire going. There's the cave. Uh, really nice finds, gonna keep us out of the rain. We're pretty wet, but uh, we're drying up. Drying up really quick, actually, so very nice for us, very bad for the Belgians. All right, here we go. Going for a little swim. Woo! Oh! Not that cold, but it, it feels cold. We're getting colder though, for sure. Oh, I can't even talk. Lots of them. <laughs> All right, so 
end of day two out on the West Coast Trail, just uh, bunking down for the night in the tent inside the cave, which I showed you. Uh, it's a little colder tonight, a little frosty, but we had a very nice fire inside the cave and stayed warm. Had over the Koreans and the Belgians. <laughs> and uh, lesson learned on day two is that uh, typically it's good to wear underwear when hiking. <laughs> And uh, I learned that lesson, and actually right in the middle of the trail, I, I had to uh, put on underwear, which was kind of funny to do, and just hope that no one showed up, but just uh, took off my shorts and put on the undies and put the shorts back on. I was actually really fine after that, so it's a little bit of a painful day. I had a lot of leg pain and uh, took a bunch of Tylenol and ibuprofen and it all went away so looking forward to day three which will be a long one hopefully the weather's, weather is better tomorrow it was a big wet uh, boggy muddy day today got pretty wet but everything's dried out by the fire so yeah, in high spirits going into tomorrow how many times did it take us to start a fire today uh, three times <laughs> third time we got it going I don't know what was our problem but We'll do better tomorrow. <laughs> All right, checking out. All right. All right, day three on the West Coast Trail. Just got done breaking camp here in the cave. The day's looking a little nicer. It's already a bit drier. Going to start the day with climbing seven ladders. Uh, pretty excited. It's going to be a long hike today. Feeling in good spirits. A little sore, but a lot sore. So here we are, after a couple of kilometers, just approaching uh, what's called Hole in the Wall. At least we think that's what it is. There might just be a couple of caves and we missed it, I don't know. But uh, we're going to go take a look. Beautiful, beautiful scenery here. I mean, just... Some bear tracks up there? Yeah, we passed a lot of bear tracks on the way to get here, so... Looks pretty small though, I think I could take him. Hard to capture what it really looks like. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Just incredible. Incredible scenery. Standing here on the beach, just passed through hole in the wall, day number three, watch out. Oh shoot! <laughs> Gotta watch out for the ocean, never turn your back on the ocean. Take a look at hole in the wall, just the sun came out, we're feeling pretty good. Nice day, nice day to be alive on the West Coast Trail. Alright. <laughs> here we are. All these canopies. I coined that name myself. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. I mean, it's just like the brush is totally overgrown on all sides. We kind of come through a number of these little tunnels, but uh, they're fun to go through. It's pretty dark and. Totally just blocks out all the of sunlight. I love it. This is one of the, I mean, we pass hundreds and hundreds of these huge, huge slugs. They're just, I don't know, they're probably about six to eight inches long. All right, so we've arrived at the Nitinat Narrows. Just waiting for a ferry to bring us across. It's 
over there somewhere, but we can't go anywhere until it comes. We are stuck. Been a very, uh, kind of a tough day so far. We're not even halfway done with the hike. Just hoping for the best. But <laughs> still having fun though. It's, you know, every time you turn a corner, it's amazing views and stuff. Lots of cool coves today, but. It's like five fish right here. It's pretty. Very pretty. I think this uh, river is, I think this is uh, salt water, they say. So, I don't know, it seems to be flowing, but I'm not sure how that works. We stopped for a quick meal of fresh crab at the shack on the Nittinat. Might I recommend, if you choose to do the same, to go for the salmon. So somehow I've ended up here on the beach by myself. Not sure if that's a good thing, but it's a pretty awesome view. I'm just uh, seeing if I can navigate away here to get back up on, uh, on the beach over there on the other side. Should be good. You can see maybe behind me there's a uh, big ladder and that's where uh, I think Mike's gonna come down and meet me with uh, Gary of Oregon. So in the meantime, I'll enjoy, there's a lot of these uh, tide pools here. Might check around, see if I can see some cool animal life. Uh, there's certainly a lot of crabs. I haven't seen really much of anything else. Some sea urchins. You can just make me out in the left part of this picture, contemplating how to time my jumping on rocks with the crashing waves. I made it, but what a horrible idea. Mike's asking if it was scary. Uh, I'm not going to comment <laughs> you look pretty nervous. on anything that my, may or may not have just happened. <laughs> We're day, at the end of... Day three. Day three. Sitting by the campfire. Got everything set up. Just have some... Din Din. Sarah, we have some hot cocoa with your uh, your uh, s'more business inside the hot cocoa. That was a treat. That right there was probably the favorite thing of this whole trip. <laughs> Twas good. Anyway. Uh, how was the, as far as, how was today uh, physically? Oh, uh, breeze for me. Uh, for you, you know, you kind of struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Today sucked. <laughs> the girls right here, they're just like, oh, today was the easiest it day. It is the easiest world. day. Woo! But as you know, me and you were like, where the freak is that camp out? <laughs> yeah, and it was pretty rough today. I don't know yeah. why. My back is still in shock and pain. But tomorrow we're just going to wake up and do it again. So why, why did we do this? I do not know. But we do it because we are men and women. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. All right. Here's camp out. The uh, beach is just beyond the trees here. We're actually sheltered in here pretty nice. These are, uh, here we got Gary sitting by the fire. And I don't even know these girls' names, but this one's from Korea and this one's from Japan via Edmonton. And over there, Zipeta <laughs> Jens. <laughs> Woke up day four, had a pretty good night's rest last night, but uh, kind of feeling the effects of the hike at this point, feeling uh, just tired as it was put by Mike as we woke up this morning, you know, like the first words he said was, I don't want to hike anymore, and uh, I can certainly understand that it's, your muscles are stiff and you're feeling a little exhausted and cold and all that but once we get going we'll warm up it'll be fun but uh, day four it's gonna be another long one today so talk to you in a bit your thoughts on day four I, I, I hurt <laughs> I hurt bad <laughs> the knee it does nothing for me <laughs> other than that I'm doing great <laughs> Other than my extreme back ache, my shoulders kill, my hips kill, I'm stinky. Other than that, I can't complain. <laughs> so 
So here we are, uh, second lighthouse on day four. This is Carmana Point, and you can see they, I mean, the light keepers live here in these houses, and it's beautiful. You'd love to live here, obviously. It's just incredible and uh, pretty lonely, but I'm sure they see hikers every day in the summer. Just stayed at Shea Monique's, had a hamburger. Very good. Didn't really need it, but we ate it. We did what we had to do. We got this like out here, and we can. So we did. And it was good. Just, uh, oh, oh, ah! Okay. Just hiking along on the beach for a long stretch here. Feeling pretty good, honestly. Mike's kind of whipping out. His knee's hurting. He's all drugged up. The pills, they do nothing! They do nothing for me! So, I don't know. Still having fun on day four. It's pretty. A lot of self-discovery. A little bit of self-loathing. But uh, overall, I feel like we're growing. It's nice. Hold on, that's Gary. Yeah. Okay, he's <laughs> yanking on it. <laughs> Second rope bridge. Here we go. Oh, wow. Nice view. Yeah. I'm just gonna let Gary do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pull, oh, Gary, pull! Pull, Gary, pull! <laughs> Stopping for a little drink here and soaking the feet. Walbrand Creek. Nice and chilly. Good for my feet. Pretty, we didn't uh, take the cable car in this one. It was too far to walk back into the forest, and we thought we'd rather just take a crack at uh, crossing the creek, which went up uh, just to the, like the lower thigh. Felt really good, actually. Just took off the boots, put on the socks, the aqua socks, and did the crossing. Feeling. Uh, you know, a little more exhausted today. It's been a little rougher. A little more rough, and but we've seen uh, some cool animal life. Mike is struggling today. His knee is, he says it's on fire, which means, and if he's complaining, it means it's hurting him pretty bad. So it's actually got me a touch worried because the two hardest days are the uh, last two days we have. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out, honestly. And now we've kind of hiked way beyond, you know, a point where you, it's like you have to commit before you push on these last. And we've definitely committed, you know, by kind of going out here in the middle of nowhere. So, I don't know. He seems to be confident that he'll just soldier on. But, uh, I'm a little worried. This may have uh, long lasting effects on his knee health, which is never good. But, uh, you know, I feel pretty good. I'm tired, but nothing's hurting me, nothing's aching. So, we'll push on. We got uh, four more kilometers to do today. I think it was 16 or 17 kilometers in one day. And today it's been 90% on the beach, which is sometimes hard and sometimes not so much when there's a bunch of rock to walk on. When you're walking on sand, it's very, very strenuous and takes up all your energy. So we're trying to avoid that, but now we're going up into the forest, which we've heard from many hikers passing by. is uh, It's going to be really, really hard. So here we go. We push up into forest now. Just cross this little log bridge over a nice stream. Here comes Gary, sure-footed one. If he goes in, I've got the YouTube... <laughs> 
video <laughs> of the year. Oh man, he made it. There you go. I'm on film? Yeah. Hey, what's happening, guys? We're loving it here. It's <laughs> <Mads> day five. <laughs> I hate it out there. I want to kill everyone I see. My back hurts. My knee hurts. <laughs> day four. <laughs> Approaching, I don't know, we were hiked like 16, 17 kilometers oh. today. Oh. And, uh... We're kind of, we've been walking through swamps for like an hour and a half, literal swamps. Ugh. And now we get to climb down this one. My knee. And then there's another flight below it. it does nothing. And then when we get to the other side, I don't know if that'll adjust. There's some ladders over there. We got to climb back up. Mm. Uh, it's getting rough. It's getting rough. Yes. Two more days. Mother, if I do not make it, I will still find handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh, it's getting there, so we're at kilometer 56. Yeah. I'm feeling, feeling all right, not too bad. Mike's been, uh, his leg's been killing him. But I found, that Scott gave me special, special knee rub. That's special taking sauce. the pain away. It is wonderful. It's like having a freezer on my knee right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No. Why is this so? Just waiting for Gary. I'm hoping he's still alive. Yeah, we left old man Gary back. Yeah, if he falls, then he falls. <laughs> <laughs> Just came down that bad boy. I forgot to count the amount of rungs, but uh, that's, I don't know, probably about 100 feet or so. That's a lot of ladder. Now we're going to go down here. And there's uh, Gary climbing down, and then there's this suspension bridge, which is just a single board. Well, not obviously one, but single width board, about eight inches wide, hung up with a bunch of cables. Holy cow. And it kind of looks like it goes uphill over there. I got hummingbirds dive bombing me right now. Okay, so now I came down, and this ladder actually ends right on top of this suspension bridge which uh, leads way over there. It's a long walk so I'll try to get a little bit of this in here. See if I can hang on to the edge too. Holy cow it swings. It swings! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera away because this is bouncing around a ton. And come along for the ride. Hang on to one hand. I'm walking out in the middle of this. He's awesome and bouncy! Wow, he was great. Down here. It's a long way down, if you fell. There's my climbing the ladder back up. Out looking on the ocean. Wow, blue skies. That's a treat. Okay. Okay. All right, so end of day four, sitting around the campfire in a beautiful little cove. Don't know the name of this, uh, probably won't be able to see it on that turn, it doesn't. Oh yeah, we had to uh, switch cameras. The battery on the good camera died, so now we're on the phone. That's all right. Just gonna give the quick summary. Day four was a long slog, about 16, 17 kilometers. <laughs> and uh, I was agreeing. Oh, with you were agreeing. Yeah. All right. Uh, it was long. We got into swampland in the end. Mike had a rough day. I had mentioned on the uh, other camera that Mike's knee was really acting up, and it was pretty, pretty hard day for Mike. And uh, basically, it was like sticking a thousand needles in my, like a thousand knee. needles in the knee. Nothing, nothing too big. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was just a really long day, and obviously we're pretty tired. But everything feels better if you got a warm fire at night. That is very much true. Can dry out our shoes. 
I melted my shoes, my brand new boots. Pretty angry about that, but not angry enough. They don't have energy to be angry. And what can you do, you know? When they're melted, they're melted. It's true. So, uh, tomorrow, well, what did we see today? Some I showed just like big crazy bridges, crazy ladders, crazy swamps. Everything today looked like magnified by 10 yeah. from the days that we've previously done. That's a very good way to put it. it that like, suspension bridge scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it was very <laughs> wobbly and bouncy. Well, but uh, that's, you know, that was it. Everything we did times 10, just a little more intense. And we got two more days of that. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. Oh, wait, sorry. Hey, guys. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> can't think anymore. There's Good Morning Gary. We're up every morning very early and waits like four hours for us to get out of here. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, day five. Seems like day 12 or 20. They're all starting to blur together now. you got like three bags under your eyes. They're all puffy. <laughs> you look like you've been boxing. <laughs> <laughs> look at your face, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so day here, let me get this good uh, view in the back here. Day five, woke up. Honestly, it was really tough to even get up out of bed. Feeling pretty tired. Legs hurting, back hurting, everything's hurting, but uh, 12 miles of slog. I don't know, once you start walking, it seems like things get okay. Until Mike's knee starts hurting, and then it's just sort of a, you know, push through to the end. Ow. Okay. It hurts bad sometimes. Sometimes it do not. <laughs> the uh, pancakes were total failure. Freeze-dried eggs are, like, super crappy. <laughs> They're just awful. Terrible. Uh... Sort of the Peanut butter and jelly for Brecky. It was pretty good, actually. And uh, that's all we'll need to say for now. I had a warm fire again last night. Nice spot. I'll uh, do a little scan here. Got burned. My, my boots got burned. This is a great little cove we slept in. So, anyway, here we go. <laughs> That's really how I feel. <laughs> I don't need that energy to turn my head to look at you right now. I just want to lay in my down comforter pillow and sleep. <laughs> Whatever. So we just crossed this uh, big old log. That was it's like a hundred foot log. It was a long log, but it was also I don't know about a fifteen foot uh, ravine below it. Uh, my back. I don't know. That's some of these things are a little awkward and definitely sketchy, but uh, today so far has been uh, just incredibly tough, just climbing over roots and thick bog. mud, bog, uh, just, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, 12, 12 to 24 inches of water with mud under it and having to navigate climbing on top of tree roots, or if you're Mike... You just walk straight through the water. You know how. He's given up. I do. And uh, our good buddy Gary, we don't even know where he's at. We have left him for the wolves. We left him behind and we wait for him now. I feel slightly bad, but when you're this tired, you just want to get done. Oh, uh, more high thirds. Yeah, the people here. <laughs> the trees are nice. <laughs> So a little more, we walked on the beach a while, day five. Day five has been just rough and tough. Gary's fallen about eight times. No, you got to get to Oh, yeah, okay. Turn around, turn around. All the mud. Oh, okay, the whole thing. Ah, there it is. All right. It's been a rough day for Gary. Mike's in severe pain. Yeah. I'm doing fine. <laughs> doing okay. Anyway, check this out. What's this place called? 
Uh, Owen Point? Owen Point, yeah. Owen Point. That's actually Owen Point over there, which is not as pretty as this. Unnamed Point. It's called Tree on a Rock Point. Tree on a Rock, and uh, with waterfall in the background. It's basically a paradise. Uh, and though you're tired, it does revive the spirits. Mm. All right, get that thing out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Day six on the journey of the West Coast Trail. Uh, rolled into camp last night, a little bit later. And, uh, mosquitoes. Uh, really rough day yesterday at climbing boulders, going through bogs. Long trip. Everybody was hurting pretty bad and pretty tired, pretty exhausted. Uh, last night was uh, not great sleep. It rained all night. Literally, we got in the tent, it started raining, and it never stopped. It's still going. So we got to get out of the tent while it's raining and pack up all our wet stuff and head to the end of the trail to finish this bad boy. We uh, we're pretty done with the West Coast Trail. We're ready to get this finished. We we'll this up again. Very tired, and uh, we've had enough. So we're ready to call it call it a week. Just get on the road and go home. Everybody's done. So we'll get it packed up and uh, see you at the end. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't know if this is foggy or not, but we finished the trail here at the end of the Gordon River. We're uh, pretty much as soaking, yeah. soaked as we can be and as exhausted as we could possibly be. That was just a tremendous trip up and down through the forest, climbing steep hills and then coming back down and stepping down through roots and rocks all in the pouring rain. The ferry comes. We're on to the We're going to grab the ferry. We're out. Soaked to the core and exhausted, we reached the end of the trail after five and a half days. There was a hot shower waiting for us where we had parked the car. By far, the single best shower I have ever taken in my life. The shower washed away the cold and mud, but it was also a startling reminder that things like this exist. Civilization, convenience, comfort. The West Coast Trail was first developed in the early 1900s as the Dominion Life Saving Trail, a path back home for shipwrecked sailors who were lucky enough to wash ashore on the west coast of Vancouver Island. The trail, even in its current developed state, is quite rugged. Nature and winter storms have had their way with it. I often wondered how a sailor might make his way through the incredibly dense brush that overtakes everything. That's one of the reasons I like hiking. There's something about it that makes time seem unclear and unimportant. Not just the hours, but the years, too. I feel like I'm treading behind those shipwrecked sailors, behind ancient First Nations natives, like they're just around the bend, just out of sight, but I sense that they're there. It's hard to explain to others why I hike. I guess because it's fun. We laugh a lot and thrive on the physical adventure. But beyond that, these hikes offer a glimpse at the most magnificent creations that this earth has to offer. These are nature's art galleries. They're best experienced when you break yourself down, when your instincts become sharp. At some point you become humble and small, whether because of physical pain or just the daunting nature of what lies ahead. But that's why I really love hikes like the West Coast Trail. Because in the moment when you feel small, and you accept your place in the order of things, and then you push on and exceed your limited capabilities by even just a little, it's an incredible moment of self-discovery. You were stronger than you thought.